Not that I ever look glamorous, but I thought that I would say hello and welcome to weekly vlog 35. Thursday, the 21st of October, and I slept in, so it's five to nine. I woke up about 10 minutes ago and I'm getting a cup of tea. As I mentioned in last week's vlogs, my braces are new, my bottom braces. I am currently ruined. I know that it will get better, but like, holy hell, ow, I'm in so much pain. It's not even like the chain is sore, which it is, and I can't do it, but it is cutting here and here and every time I talk drink eat it's like catching a dragon to be honest I think the next few days is gonna be hard <laughs> just went to get hot chocolate Good morning and welcome to Saturday. Um, I'm on my way to the park run. So it is, what time is it? It's 9.02. It is my mum's 200, it's actually my mum and her identical twin sister's 250th um, park run today. And my daddy is run director, hence why my dad's already been down there for like five to 10 minutes. But yeah, my mummy's in the shop now um, because of COVID and that, Oh, did I just literally miss that entire chunk of hair? Because of COVID, you can't have, like, you used to have, like, cake and stuff when somebody hit a milestone. Mummy is just going to go get, like, I think my auntie is getting a pack of cupcakes and Mummy's going to get, you know, like, free package what do you call those things like a good mini roll like something that can like in theory more hygienically be shared and like obviously people can keep their distance um wash my face this morning um i didn't well no i did vlog way bit yesterday but like i wasn't talking to camera so i was working yesterday obviously and then i had my niece fia down for the day and um, my sister Aoife is in edinburgh so i dropped her to the airport on thursday evening she's away to visit my other sister leave so fia was down in the house and then <gasps> I'm just working away. And then Cora came down, who's this, my, the two nieces in one family. She came down because my mum hadn't seen her in a while, so that was nice to have the two of them. And then me and my mum and dad went up to Ikea because my dad has been doing up a room in our house and he's been him and Hannah about this chair to get. So he went to Ikea and he actually did get the chair. And then I think, I'm pretty sure we built it last night. And then Kyle and I went to QFT last night to go see. <sighs> to go see the French Dispatch, the new Wes Anderson movie. I actually really liked it. I do think you need to like, it's gonna sound stupid, you need to like Wes Anderson to like his movies because like, it's kind of like nothing really happened, but like, it, I still really enjoyed it. Like it was a very watchable movie. I don't know how rewatchable his movies are because they are quite like kitschy almost. Like I've watched The Grand Bitter Pest Hotel like a couple of times, but like over the course of like five or six years, you know what I mean? So I suspect that I will rewatch this movie, but not. It Immediately, but like if someone asked me what it would about would was about, I'd probably be like I'm not entirely sure. I think that lady's running to park run. But anyway, I'm gonna go do park run. Really don't want to do it. And then we are going to a football game later. Kyle's brother in law, their home team is Corgan. So Corgan is playing in St. Dennis, so I'm gonna go. And actually my daddy's gonna go just to watch the game. And then tomorrow we are going to a pumpkin patch. So it is Saturday afternoon, I'm just waiting Kyle to come collect me and we are going to go to the, I think it's a senior final, no not senior final, semi-final of the Antrim football. And my dad's coming up as well. Molly and I went into town earlier, I had some stuff to return and she wanted to get some bits and pieces and a wee proto neck and some socks. But yeah, I'm waiting on Kyle, he's late but I want to be ready as soon as he gets here just so that we're there on time. And welcome to Tuesday. Um, haven't been on. I have been trying to like only vlog when I have something to vlog. But I changed the format of my camera. Don't know if you can tell, but it's recording in 4K at the minute instead of 1080p. So my camera is a 4K camera, but I was finding that my camera and my computer were getting really, really full really fast because of the format of the what I was recording in. But then I kind of was like, why do I have a 4K camera if I'm not recording in 4K? So my memory card was completely full and it needed format. 
about it but I have like a couple of random videos that I'm doing at the minute that like, you know, I film a wee clip of every now and then. So I was really nervous about formatting my camera because I wanted to make sure that I had everything across on my laptop. So then my laptop wasn't playing ball. So I got that done today. So my laptop, my memory card has now been formatted, which means it's completely clean. And it means I actually can record because I was out, I was out of the house. Friday, Saturday, Sunday this weekend. And every time I went to take my camera with me, I was like, I need to format my memory card. And I haven't done it yet. And I don't want to do it now because I want to literally go through clip by clip. So I don't even know the last time I was speaking, but Friday, Kyle and I went to the cinema to go see The French Dispatch. It was really, really good. I actually really liked it. It's a Wes Anderson movie. Um, If you haven't seen a Wes Anderson movie, I don't really know how to describe it to you, but like his, he does very like stylized movies. So some people don't like his style. Like it's a bit, not cartoonish. Like it's a, just a bit, it's a bit overly stylized. So if you don't like his movies, you're not gonna like his movies if you know what I mean But if you do like his movies, we so did the Grand Budapest Hotel, he did Fantastic Mr. Fox So if you do like his movies, you'll probably like this movie. I really enjoyed it And then Saturday we went to a football match and um, Corrigan were playing some goals. Corrigan won So that's Kyle's home team. So Corrigan won and um, really won quite well actually And then we watched The Joker on Saturday night because my dad wanted to watch it My mum, my dad and Kyle thought the movie was phenomenal. I didn't like it I I don't think it was, well, not that it's for me to say because like objectively it's been well rated. I didn't like it. I didn't think it was bad. And I didn't think the acting was bad. Like I thought it was actually, um, Joaquin Phoenix, I thought was a great actor, like did it very well. I just personally didn't enjoy the movie at all. <laughs> but then everyone else was like, best movie ever. And I was like, wait, like am I, am I wrong? <laughs> was it a really good movie? So I don't really know about that. Then Sunday we went to the pumpkin patch. Um, I took some videos of that. My niece absolutely loved it. And then I started, I started. <laughs> I stayed in Kyle's house on a Sunday. We didn't really do too much. We finished You, so no spoilers for You season three. I'll maybe mention like spoilers next week. Like, but I'm really, really annoyed at the ending. Like, I actually really enjoyed the season and I really disliked how, I, I'll talk about it a bit vaguely, so if you really don't want to know, skip on like a minute. I really didn't like how Joe came to like a bit of a self-realization and then just backtracked, although I understand that's the portrayal of like, he's obviously not wired quite right. And then I really didn't like who died really, really didn't like it. But in other news, I picked a few bits and pieces up. So I got this pack of like hair clips. I don't know what these are called. So I got a multi-pack, I will show you them. I'm just gonna pour them on the floor so I can show you them. So yeah, I just got this like, so I got black, blue, two different greens, an orangey and a pinky. I quite like them um, because I quite like that they like, fold over on each, on each other so much that they mean that they like, quite snap your hair because like and even with these and I do quite like them I have a lot of hair like I do have quite a lot of hair so it's quite hard to get these like they do work well enough but yeah I just like I have so much hair to be perfectly honest but they are handy and then I also just picked up this pack of scrunchies so they're like to be honest they're like fake faux silk <laughs> <laughs> Faux silk, but they're quite cheap looking. So it's like a kind of a creamy white, like a goldy, a nice chocolate brown, a black, kind of a pinky maroony, and then like another sort of goldy. These two are like very similar. The big thing that I picked up is this. So I got this volume and body ceramic wand for effortless loose waves. So I'll link Abby Maxwell's video down below, but I have to admit, I always saw Abby's photos and I always thought, oh, there's only reason that Abby's photos look, and I'm still worried that this is the case. The only reason that Abby's photos look like that is because their hair extensions. Like I don't just don't have the length or the thickness that Abby has because she has hair extensions. I think she said she thinks her extensions hold a curl better. The wand that I have at the minute is really, really thin. And I always kind of like have a wee look online, but they're, they're quite expensive and the Beauty Works one, like I see people talk about it a lot. And she compared this one to the Beauty Works one, a quarter of the price. And the barrel is quite thick. <laughs> And the barrel that I have, so I have a Remington one. No, it's either Remington or Babyliss, but it's quite thin and it's also tapered. So like I have a lot of hair now and I used to have much shorter hair. So I'm really excited to use this. So I'm gonna do a dedicated video and I'm also gonna do a dedicated video about my Be Bold tan. So those will both be coming soon. I also got this gorgeous new coat that I will show you. So the lighting isn't a hundred percent, but yeah, I was in Dunn's at the weekend. So I was returning some other bits and pieces that I had bought. Like some, I bought my sister a pair of shoes for her birthday, but I bought them two different sizes. So I was in town during returns and Molly was in town 
mind doing her, she was getting stuff for her £100 voucher. We were in Duns and I saw this coat for £35. From It's from Gallery though. Can't see me that well. I'm obsessed with it. So I have like a cream version of this coat that I got in Topshop. But I got it, I think it's a size... I think it might be a size 10 and I wouldn't really usually wear a size 10 and it's just like I just don't particularly like it I don't think it sits that well and then I bought my sister the same coat for her birthday but in black and every time she wears it I'm like that's so nice so I picked this up for £35 and then I was in Dunn's yesterday and they have the camel coat that I have from there which I mentioned in my like autumn clothes video so obviously it's £20 they have it in this like deep forest green and it's so nice and I'm like I really really don't need it so I wanted to come on and actually talk to the camera basically so yesterday I didn't do anything I went for a 40 minute run and then I picked up my friend Ella's mm, I'll tell you what I got her it's my friend Ella's birthday on Monday so she's having a Halloween party so I was picking up part of her birthday present and then my costume I'll talk about in next week's vlog just because I don't know it's one of those things I like never want to mention it to someone in case they're like that's a really bad idea and then you're like but it's what I'm doing. So I'd really rather just turn up and be like, haha, you won't say anything to me now, I hope, because I'm literally standing in front of you. But yeah, so I'm pretty much good to go with that. I actually had something, I'll explain more. I had something, I didn't really like it, and then coincidentally, Kyle's mommy had something in the house that I was able to use, so I'm able to return the one that I didn't really like. And yes, then tonight, so tonight I was supposed to be going out, but that didn't end up working out. But I rearranged to go to my earlier sewing class. So there's one from five to seven, there's one from seven to nine. So I asked, could I go from the five to seven one, but I would only be able to get there at like half five because of work. And they said that was fine. So then Kyle and I are just gonna chill out tonight because it's up near where he lives. And I think that we're gonna go to the range in Ballymena to pick up a few things for another video. And yes, that's the last week in a, in a talking update. The lighting is really not great, but this Nivea Watermelon Shine is in very, very nice natural color. I picked this up in the range last night. Because why? Because I didn't really want to keep like a lip product in my bag because I'd rather just keep it in my makeup bag. So that like if, when I, if it's like my everyday makeup, I wouldn't necessarily have my handbag on me all the time, if you know what I mean. But obviously with it coming into winter and that. So it is obviously quite pink, but it's like moisturizing without feeling glossy. And I just put a little tiny bit of lip liner on and then I put this on. So I think it's enough just to keep the color up because I find that my color comes off a lot with um masks. Um, the lighting is weird in this room right now. Um, and yeah, I try to do like natural makeup, but I honestly, whenever I'm pale, if I try and do like any form of like blush and bronze, I think it just like comes out too strong. Wrong, but I'm not gonna go and buy like I don't w be pale that often if you know what I mean so I'm not gonna go buy like blush and bronze products for being extremely pale so I just don't look as natural as I meant to but my makeup also took me like seven minutes it's just to have some on because I might record later on and I'm going to the shops later with my friend and to be honest when my skin is pale I just don't feel myself as much sitting down after work on a Wednesday to edit an entire vlog start to finish which in fairness I didn't vlog that much as you will have seen and also have even considered my Sunday video is such a bad way to be. I used to be so on top of my videos. I have two videos that I'm planning to record and then hopefully I will stay a week ahead of myself because I have an entire video to edit and upload by tomorrow, like 24 hours. I plan to be sleeping eight or nine of those hours. And then I have another video to have up on Sunday, which is Halloween. And I already know that I am busy on definitely Sunday and maybe Friday, so. Um, I went up to Primark with my friend Darvla after work and as it turned out, she was going up to get bedding. I just don't look, <laughs> I just do not look the best. Like my look is not just like a casual like, oh I haven't, this is just me naturally, like it's not a good look for me. And um, so she was gonna have to go to get bedding. And then I was like, do you know what? I've been meaning to get bedding for ages because I only have the one set of bedding, bedding in my room. So it means when I strip my bed, I need to wait until it is obviously through the wash fully. And then I go either sleep in the other room or like <laughs> sometimes just like go to Kyle's house. So I decided to get some bedding, but then I haven't really decided if it's gonna look nice or not. But basically I was like, I should just get dark bedding because I wear fake tan. The, I actually have not been wearing it for a while, but I got this I mentioned. I'm gonna do a video on it. So the reason why I haven't got around to actually trying it yet or putting tan on is because I haven't got around to filming the video and I always like to film my first impressions on the product. So that's why I haven't got tan on. So then I decided to get dark colored shades and then my mom was like, no, they're not nice. And I was like, oh, right, okay. But to be honest, I think I'm gonna keep them and I think I'll make it work. So 
I got these sheets, which I think are such a nice color. They don't really come up on camera that well. So they're brushed cotton. I don't know if they actually have like a color, dark green, they just say. But like there's a lot of like green hints in my room. Like my room is yellows and greens and like natural, like earthy colors. So I got this, which actually coincidentally goes so well with this wee Ikea pillow that I picked up for sale when my parents were in Ikea, which I mentioned. So that's obviously the sheet. So originally I wasn't gonna get a sheet and then I was like, that's stupid. So this is the bedding that I got. And I am like, I'm not sure about it. It kind of looks like a teenage boy's bedding. Now it's super soft jersey and it actually feels lovely. But the reason why I got this color was specifically for tan. Like, and I thought like my bed sheets get dirty and I get makeup on my bed sheets and I know it annoys my mom and it, like it would annoy me. She would mean like, well, it doesn't annoy me, but my mom does, my mom does the washing. Although I try when it's tan, I try and like go and do it myself cause it's my own damn fault, you know what I mean? But now I am like, it's, it's, I don't know if it's gonna look great, but as you can see on my bed, which is a mess, so excuse it. These are the pillows that I have. So I have two light green and then this like dragony. And then I have those two pillows on my armchair which obviously like it can all be it can all be like swapped in and out so i think like the dark gr the gray could work well i would love if they had the green like set but they don't so i'm gonna do that and then this was the most expensive of a lot of them and i did not need it look at that look at that green and it'll go so well with my room and then as well i have like christmas bed and now i have a red runner but i thought like this green runner over my red Christmas bed and blah, blah, blah. So that is what I bought. So I'm gonna do my tan tomorrow night, I'm pretty sure because I want to have my tan on for Halloween. I will change how I put that bedding on so you can see it in next week's vlog. So I usually do like to keep things like quite bright. So the gray is might not be 100%, but what I was thinking was like, even if I have the gray on for a day or two, so if I wash my bed sheets on Thursdays, put my tan on on Thursdays, use my gray bedding on Thursdays, and then like by the weekend, the white bedding's back on and I'll keep the green sheet because I think the green will actually work really nicely. And it'll tie in with this and the pillows. Then that way I can like cycle them in and out. And it means that I'm always, in, I can just remake my bed the minute it's done. And the other thing that I'm gonna do, just I'm gonna do here while I'm listening to a podcast, is my makeup has getting, been getting, I dropped all the bedding. I dropped all the bedding. My makeup has been getting a wee bit messy because I'm like, my, I'm down on tan. So like I've been changing my foundation to try and like match like my natural color, which is like this, I don't match the minute. And then like I have like a couple of different lip liners and I like in that. So I love these Ikea sandwich bags. They are so reusable. If you use sandwich bags, rewash them, they wash. They do not need to be disposed. There is no need to be throwing these out. They're not disposable items. This is my environmental lecture of the week. These are reusable. So like at the minute, I'm not using like my NARS foundation because it's too tan for me. So I'm gonna put my kind of like not used everyday items and put it in this, but keep it in my makeup bag. So then when I'm doing my makeup, I can just set these to the side because I do like to have like all my makeup in one place so that when I go up to Kyle's, I can just grab my makeup bag. If I'm getting ready downstairs to do my sister's makeup, I can just grab it and go. So that's my task for the evening. Tidy up my room and then I'm gonna get into bed and read a little. I am reading um, Sally Rooney, Conversation with Friends. I read her book, Normal People, in 2019 because I read a signed copy that Kyle's Kyle gave me that his sister got. It was the second book. Books have a <laughs> books have a story to do with the beginning of Kyle and I's relationship. It was the second book that Kyle ever gave me and I adored it. I mean, like literally adored it. And then I tried listening to this on audiobook a few years ago. It didn't get very far a few. It didn't really draw me in, but I'm really, really enjoying reading it. And I see that she has a new book out as well. So I would be interested in reading that. But anyway, that is the end of this week's vlog. If you're interested in watching my vlogs or any of my other videos, I do a little bit of everything, then please subscribe and comment down below anything else that you would like to see. And also give it a thumbs up and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.